Hearing is that there's a lot of barriers, you know, language barrier. There's also a lot of fear. A lot of fear driving the discussion between housing advocacy groups and the community about affordable housing. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Amber Grigley. Well, today at the Housing Advocacy Summit, leaders across the state discuss ways to address the growing need for affordable and livable housing in the Hoosier State. WRTV State House reporter Meredith Hackler breaks down what policies these groups and citizens will like to see. According to the Hoosier Housing Need Coalition, Indiana is number two in the country when it comes to evictions. That number is based on court filings. Some people in the Indianapolis community are advocating for tenants by being court watchers. Everyday people show up to a tenant's court hearing who's facing eviction. What we've really found out is that by being there, we have an effect on the judge and the bailiff and the court people and also on the lawyers involved that they know somebody who cares about what's going on here is actually there watching and it's making a difference. Well, this is just one way housing advocacy organizations are encouraging everyday people to help their fellow Hoosier. They also want to see things done on a state level. A charge State Senator Fadi Kadora is planning on leading in the upcoming legislative session. If the private market cannot produce enough affordable homes, then the state of Indiana has the responsibility to subsidize the construction of new homes, affordable homes, and different types of homes, and also come up with laws to allow us to maintain the current inventory of homes that we have in Indiana to be in good shape. Senator Kadora's priorities align with those of the Hoosier Housing Need Coalition. They'd like to see the following, strengthening living standards for renters, increasing the supply of affordable housing, and ensure existing housing is more affordable and accessible. If regular Hoosiers go to the state house and sit in on these committee meetings, which we're allowed to do by law, uh, that has an effect on the, on the legislatures and how they create fair laws. Well, these priorities are something everyone at the summit agreed upon. People like Mari Luna want to see more minority voices involved, especially because black and Hispanic Hoosiers are the most affected by the lack of tenant rights in Indiana. I didn't see, you know, the voice of community here today. So uh, moving forward, making sure that our community's voices, um, folks who are mostly directly impacted are also leading these conversations or being present. Working for you in Indianapolis, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Thanks, Meredith. Indiana is one of five states that does not allow tenants to put rent in escrow or repair the problem themselves and deduct from rent for major health and safety violations.